Hi, and welcome back to the blog. The theme of Vegan Mainstream this month is critical thinking. So I thought for the video blog I'd seek out a professor of philosophy who could talk about critical thinking better than I could. And I'm quite happy to say that I found Dr. David Stiebel. David Stiebel is somewhat unique among philosophers. He's focused his entire philosophical career on studying and teaching about the ethics behind the treatment of animals. He's a vegan and an activist, and he spent some time with me talking about critical thinking and how it relates to becoming vegan. So here's what he had to say. I think that we assume the level of critical thinking by going just above our ordinary reflex actions of thought, because thoughts come to us uh, right away, whether we want them or not. And with critical thinking, you're taking a step back and you're actually choosing what your response will be. You see different angles of things, you see different possibilities, and you start to evaluate whether you think what is what could be said or what someone is actually saying, whether it's true or not, whether it is reasonable or not, and whether it's consistent with promoting things of worth, such as nonviolence. Good reasoning uh, always starts from statements that are true, and critical thinkers will evaluate whether a statement is true or probable, certainly true. They'll, they'll take stock of that. And the second component of good reasoning is that from these true statements, which are called premises, you infer conclusions that actually follow. So, for example, you have the premise, cruelty is wrong. You have another premise, there is a practice that involves more cruelty than another practice, such as factory farming involving more cruelty than the so-called old McDonald's farm. Therefore, the conclusion follows that there's more wrong with factory farming than old McDonald's farm because there's more cruelty involved. All of the statements are true, and furthermore, the conclusion follows. You can infer it or deduce it. Um, it's logically entailed from the premises, the statements that you start with that are true. So that's the kind of argument that we're aiming for. So I think that the decision to go vegan for most people does involve some critical thinking. The suggestions are that animal products are associated with cruelty, so right away that's critical of sort of the ordinary diet, which assumes that everything's a-okay with animals, it's just part of life, it's the way things are done. Because some people are perfectionists, and that's one style of critical thinking, and some people are more realistic that they experience certain kinds of imperfection to pop up. I think it would be great if everyone turned vegan right now, but research shows that uh, most people who become vegan go through a phase of vegetarianism before becoming vegan. I think that in our critical thinking um, it doesn't help anybody to be a perfectionist and while the perfectionist might be tempted and wants to rush towards that perfection, that rushing will take the form of aggression and impatience. And instead of transforming people for the positive or for the better, it's going to scare people away, it's going to make people dislike vegans, um, it's going to make them defensive rather than receptive and open to positive change. And when you lay out the facts of, for example, factory farming, then they can not help but take notice and realize the great accumulation of cruelties involved in such practices. Anyone who thinks lucidly about the rights of mentally disabled humans cannot make good the idea that animals have no rights to be spared these horrors.